So that's the most important thing to understand is that whenever you run into an exception, you have an example of your code literally telling you, hey, wait, um, you're doing something that makes it impossible for me to continue. It's no longer, it's an, it's an exceptional case. It makes it so your program can't continue. That's why it stops your program. And if I was running this outside of debugging, we get this little guy, which I'm sure if you guys are Windows 7 or Windows 8 users, you've seen this quite a few times while your programs crash. This is what happens when you run into an unhandled exception and you're not debugging. You get an except. Well, you get an exception. You get an error and your program crashes. And if you have, a, if your program happens to be a console window, sometimes it'll dump some debug information into the console. But it's not really necessary to understand that quite yet. So let's do another exception. Actually, I think this is a compile timer. Yep, this is a compile timer. Huh. Arithmetic problem in constant value comp computation. Um, let's make this not a compile timer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put in zero, and we get program is finished. Unfortunately. I was trying to, um, I guess C-sharp doesn't throw on this. It doesn't? I'm doing something totally wrong here. Da 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 da. Oh, right, 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 right. Ignore me. It results in infinity. Ha ha ha. I know there is a divide by zero exception, which is why I assume this would throw, but it doesn't because it just sets the double to infinity. I wonder if I turn this into a D. Nope. We'll always be getting affinity out of this, unfortunately. Does int throw? Int throws. Here we go. That's what I wanted. Because an int doesn't have the concept of infinity. Um, doubles can be set to infinity. D uh, infinity is a special value of a double. Ints can't. And then we get an exception. There we go. <laughs> I was like sitting there, I was thinking, I was like, I, I swear I've done this before. I swear my, at some point one of my programs has crashed because of this exception. Um, stuff and things. So another example of an exception. We get a divide by zero exception. You can't divide by zero. If it wasn't clear as to why the doubles did not, or double division did not throw an exception. Remember, doubles can be set to infinity, whereas ints can't, which means that because ints can't be set to infinity, there's nothing for our program to do here. There's no, there's no course of action that would make sense for our program to continue. And because there's no course of action for our program to continue, well, I, by definition, our program stops continuing. And it throws an exception.